All right, this is how I measure the volume of a head button. What I've got here is a half of cc hypodermic needle. So on this needle, 50 is 0.5 cc. So of course, like 10 is 0 0.10 cc. So I'm going to fill this thing up with water. All right, so what I did was I stuck the needle into this glass of water and I filled it up and then I squeezed it back out until I've got it set to 0 0.40 cc's. What I've got in my hand is a piece of plexiglass and I've drilled two small holes, I don't know if you can see them anywhere, I'll put them up against the water here or something. There are two small holes in this piece of plexiglass. So these holes are actually smaller than any drill bit you're going to be able to find in your Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. These, uh, the drill bit that I use is one that I use for uh, circuit boards, for drilling holes in circuit boards for the leads of components. So the concept here is that you're going to take these two holes and you're going to put them over the head button in a manner to where one hole is right on the edge of the bowl. So both holes are inside of the bowl. One of them is just right next to the squish band. Then you inject water from the syringe into <clears throat> the bowl through the other hole allowing air to escape out of the top hole which is next to the squish band. When uh, all this is done and the bowl is totally full you look at the syringe again and you subtract its current volume from the volume you started out with. So for me I started out with 0 .40 so whatever I wind up with I would subtract that from the 0 .40 and that would be the volume of the bowl. This head button that I've got in my hand here is off of an Aquacraft engine. It's not actually one off of the uh, GO engine. Let me see if I can get this done. Alright, if you haven't figured this out, I've been doing all this without anybody holding the camera for me, so let's so get this done in the first shot here. So I've got one hole that's here, which is the bottom hole. I've got too much light here. And the other hole is up here, right next to the uh, squish band of this engine. I'm going to inject the water into this bottom hole until the top hole has no more air coming out of it, until it's all full of water. Again, I started at 0 .40, so hopefully this will work. Alright, so right there it's full. Now if we look at our needle, we're about at a little bit under 0 0.20. All right, so that's going to mean that the volume of this head button is about 0 0.195 subtracted from 40. So it's going to be a little, a little bit over 0 0.20 cc's.